is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And today I'm going to use my Instant Pot again. I am so in love with my Instant Pot. I've had a pressure cooker for a while, but <laughs> there is just nothing like the Instant Pot. And if... <laughs> I'm hoping that I'm going to be able to show y'all this because it took me a while to get it. So, but what I'm going to do today, it's my son-in-law's, well, he's been with my daughter for 10 years, so I call him my son-in-law. Son They're getting ready to have a baby tomorrow. Well, no, today's Sunday. They're having the baby. She goes into, my daughter goes in to be induced Tuesday morning at 7.30 if she hasn't had it by um, then, which <laughs> who knows. But anyway, today is his birthday, and I'm fixing a roast with potatoes and carrots, and I have a three-pound, three-and-a-half-pound chuck roast that I cut up into pieces, and I'm going to cook that along with potatoes and carrots and onions in the instant pot but first what I've got to do is I've got to sear this meat and right now I'm just putting pepper on it and I'm going to sear it all. I've got my um, instant pot going on saute now and I've got like two tablespoons of oil in there alright now I'm going to put the salt on here, which I should have done first so I wouldn't get pepper in the salt, but I always forget. I don't know why, but I do. And of course, there'll be more seasonings in here. I'm just searing the, I'm just going to sear the meat now, and then I've got other things to do while I'm searing the meat, so I'm going to sear it for about two minutes on each side. And I'm doing it in um, batches because it is so much. So let me get this in the um, Instant Pot and I'll bring you back. Okay, I wanted to show you I have it on the saute mode, which is really, I mean, it's the sear mode as well. So I'm going to sear all this meat and when I get finished and get ready to go to the next next step I'll bring you back okay I'm back all right I have seared the steak and I have two onions cut into instead of fourths I cut them into eighths and I've got about three pounds of potatoes here and I might not be able to get them all in here but I'm gonna give it my best shot because I've got the meat and I've got carrots too, so. I always cut up more potatoes than I should. Alright, I'm going to go on and put some of the carrots in before I put any more. No, I'm going to go on and put the meat in now. now. I haven't gotten, I'm not doing anything yet. Um, I haven't put any water now in yet because I'm going to put all of my spices in my, I'm going to use beef, beef broth, and I'm going to put all my spices in that, because I'm going to pour it all in the pot, over the potatoes and the carrots, and because the instant pot enhances any spices or herbs that you use, and <laughs> so I'm going to put a lot of stuff in the beef broth. I'm going to put this, this in there. See how much room I've got. Alright, I'm going to put about a pound of carrots in here. Let me get these open. I should have opened them first, but I didn't, as usual. Alright, this is a two pound bag of baby carrots. Alright, and that's all the carrots I'm going to put in there. 
and I'm going to put in the rest of the potatoes. And I really could. Let's see. Where's the fuel line? Ugh. I think I'm not going to let, I'm not going to bring this down to pressure. Quick release, I'm going to do just a slow release, let it come down itself. So I'm going to put more carrots in here. And the onions are in there. All right. All right, now I'm going to go and get all this stuff ready to put in the in the water and I'll bring you right back okay I'm back all right now I'm trying to get everything together that I want to put in here I um, really want to give this some good spice so the first thing I've got is I've got a 32 ounce container of great value chicken broth and that's going in this bowl I don't have a measuring cup big enough so I'm just using this bowl. Alright. And then I've got a... That's 32 ounces of water. And I've got a um, whole jar, 16 fluid ounces of deli sliced pepperoncinis. I'm going to put those in here. Oh, I can't wait to to taste this. I'm hoping that this is going to be okay. All right, and I'm going to put in one envelope of onion soup mix. All right, and I'm going to try this. I have seen this on other people's um, videos. This is the, this is Sour's, it's brown gravy mix. I'm going to put that in here. And see how it turns out. And I'm going to put in two tablespoons of ranch dress, the ranch seasoning and salad dressing mix. All right, there's one tablespoon. There's two tablespoons. All right. I'm going to put in a tablespoon of granulated garlic. Alright. I'm going to put in a tablespoon of granulated onion powder. <clears throat> granulated onion, whatever. <clears throat> I'm going to put in two tablespoons of parsley leaves. Parsley flakes. All right. My pregnant daughter just came in. You're not having no pains or nothing? Uh, we're going to have a baby in two days no matter what. All right, I've got one tablespoon of celery salt. I'm putting that in. One tablespoon of basil leaves. I'm putting that in. All right, and then I gotta get salt and pepper. I think it's everything that I was gonna put in. I'm not gonna put in very much salt. Maybe a half a tablespoon of salt because the chicken uh, broth has got salt in it and the celery salt. I'm gonna put in a half a tablespoon of coarse ground black pepper. And remember, the one thing that the Instant Pot enhances everything that you put in there. So if you want it, if you like spicy, don't put as much as normal. I'm putting about a half a tablespoon of the kosher salt. Don't put as much as you're used to in like your crock pot or something like that, or it's going to be extra, extra. Um spicy. I did this the other day and didn't realize it and wow, I mean it was too hot for me. Now it wasn't for Kayla and all of them, but it was for me. Alright, now I'm just stirring this up and trying to get this all mixed up together. And then I'm going to pour it over everything. The potatoes, the beef, the onions. And I'm going to cook this 
in the pressure cooker for 45 minutes because of those big chunks of of beef in here. All right, let me, I'll bring you right back. Okay, now I'm back. All right, so I'm going to pour all of this over. Oh, wow. He, this smells so good. <laughs> wow. All right. Let me get all these down in here. Well, my daughter just informed me that they're not going to eat dinner tonight, so Josh wants to go out to eat for his birthday, and that's okay. I'm, I doesn't matter. This will stay, and I'm still going to eat some. Of she, it. Kayla, will still eat some of it, but Josh really doesn't like. He doesn't like boiled potatoes or anything like that. I just, I forgot that. I forget it every time I fix this dish. I forget it. And so he didn't, he doesn't like it very much. So anyway, oh, another thing I'm going to put, I forgot to do this deck on it. I'm putting in a beef bouillon cube. Now this is all going to come, I mean, all this pressure is going to come up in here and it'll mix all this together anyway. So, all right, now, let me show you what I'm going to do now. I've got to make sure that this is on ceiling, and it is. I'm going to put my pot on, and I'm just going to slide y'all down <laughs> so I don't have to turn it, turn it off again. I'm going to turn this around. All right, it's on off now. I'm going to go... Manual, look at that broth on my finger. Manual, I'm going to go up to 45 minutes. All right, and now it will, it'll come on. And it'll take probably 15 minutes for it to come up to pressure. All right, now it's on. So now it's starting to build the, it's going to start building the steam, and it takes 15 to 20 minutes for the steam to build up, and then it'll start counting down from the 45 minutes, and then I'm going to let it go completely, the steam go completely off of it before I even open it, because I do have so much in it, but um, I'll bring you back when I get ready to eat. Okay, I'm back. All right, I need to um, show you all this. I'm telling you, this beef is so, so tender. It is just falling apart. Falling apart. Mm, mm, mm. The carrots are cooked perfectly. Mm. And they're so sweet. Everything you fix in the instant pot the mm, the taste is just amazing mm. y'all have if you don't have an instant pot you have got to get one and you have got to fix this mm, mm, mm. These pepperoncinis. Mm, I love them. One of my subscribers, I can't remember his name now, but he was the one that gave me a recipe to a roast and told me about these, and I fixed it. It's back, it's on my channel, it's on my computer somewhere. I just don't remember his name now, but he was the one that told me about cooking a roast with the pepperoncinis, and they are, it's, they're just, they give such a good flavor, such a good flavor. Mm. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. And look below for the ingredients to this um, roast. There'll be links to my Facebook, my Twitter, my Zaycon Farm Fresh Meats where you can go and 
look and see if it comes to your area. I'm getting ready to get um, 40 pounds of um, chicken breast from them. They are just amazing. They have some of the best prices on their food. And so if you, if you like this, give me a thumbs up and comment below. And I hope you have a good day. Bye.